As a student in any level of education, high school, college, or grad school, we spend a large portion of our day working at our desks. This issue is worsened by the current situation of the world that we live in where most classes are still held virtually. With that said, it's more important now than ever to invest in a desk that will provide you with all of the necessities for a productive workflow. Hey everyone, my name is Luigi Gonzalez and welcome to my new series called Student Tech Tuesdays. With Student Tech Tuesdays, I'll be discussing different kinds of tech that I believe will be beneficial for students of any level, high school, college, maybe even post-grad. Regarding these tech reviews, all of them have been tested out by yours truly, and all of the opinions in my videos are completely my own without any external influences as I'm most likely not sponsored by any of them. So without further ado, let's get started with our first tech, the Roland Star Standing Desk. Taking a look at the logistics, the Roland Star Standing Desk comes in two different lengths. 47 inches and 55 inches, which costs $300 to $300 respectively. The desk that we will be reviewing today comes at 55 inches in the black colorway. Looking at the first impressions of the table, we can see that the upper consists of a smooth black wood texture, while the legs are made out of black metal. Unlike most standing desks that can be found on Amazon, the Rolling Star standing desk comes as a single piece rather than two pieces, which means that there is no break in the middle of the tabletop. This desk is powered by a dual motor, which provides a higher weight threshold and a quieter transition from a lower height to a higher height and vice versa. Additionally, the desk comes with a monitor shelf, a keyboard tray, and a double headphone slash backpack hook. These add-ons would typically cost over $100, however, Roland Star graciously included these with every order. The desk itself can hold up an overall weight of 176 pounds and can be adjusted between 29.5 inches to 48 inches above ground. I stand at a humble height of 6 feet and I am nowhere near the maximum height setting, so I'm sure that this desk is more than sufficient for those of you that are of taller stature. Regarding the monitor shelf and the keyboard tray, I find them very useful as they greatly help in saving desk space. The monitor shelf holds up my monitor, my speakers, and my PC, which is the compact Mac M1 Mini. The keyboard tray on the other hand holds important books like my USMLE Step 1 review book and a couple of notebooks where I jot down my ideas. Overall, I'm very pleased with the aesthetics of the Roland Star Standing Desk and all of the additional pieces that it came with. When it comes to setting up the Roland Star Standing Desk, it's not as intricate as one might think. Each piece is very well packaged and the instructions were very clear. The main issues that I had with the setup involves the sheer weight of the table and the need for an extra set of hands to attach the monitor shelf. All of the tools are included in the packaging, but if a drill is accessible to you, I would recommend that you use that rather than the Allen key that it comes with for a speedier build and to avoid calluses on your hands. Overall, the setup took about one and a half hours solo with an additional of maybe five minutes of tag team work to hoist up the monitor shelf above the table. To wrap things up, I created a rubric consisting of five different aspects that I believe are important when selecting a standing desk. Number one, the setup. Number two, power, number three, space, number four, reach, and number five, noise level. As I mentioned previously, the setup is a no-brainer, but it has the drawback of needing a second set of hands to attach the monitor shelf, which is of course optional. With that in mind, I would give it four stars out of five in this category. Regarding the power of the desk, the 176 pound weight limit is more than enough to bear the weight of the more heavier PC setups, which typically weigh a little over 100 pounds which is why the Roland Star standing desk gets a five out of five. Because of the addition of the monitor shelf and the keyboard tray, the overall surface area of the table has increased tremendously, which warrants another five stars out of five. As I mentioned, the reach of the table covers a wide range of height, 
another five out of five in that category. And lastly, the noise level. I would say that this table, although it is dual motored, is not as quiet as I expected. The noise level is probably the least important aspect in this list for me, which is a good thing. But in that regards, I would have to give it a score of a 3.5 out of 5 because of the noise that it makes and just of the overall volume. Overall, the Roland Star Standing Desk receives a complete score of 4.5 out of 5. Speaking from personal experience having used the desk for about a month now, I would definitely recommend it. At a price point of $330, I would say that this desk is comparable to desks that cost over $500 without considering the fact that this also comes with the monitor shelf and the keyboard tray. So I would definitely recommend this as a great buy. I hope you all enjoyed my review of the Roland Star Standing Desk. and. As I mentioned previously, if you're very interested in increasing your productivity and you need a desk, then this is the perfect setup for you. The links will be posted in the description of the video down below, as well as in the comments section. As always, if you have any questions about the standing desk, let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, I'll see you guys next week for another video regarding Student Tech Tuesdays. Peace! Thank you.